and welcome to another tech display of Let's Fly. I will show you how I use Air Manager to control my Arduinos. What you need is, of course, Air Manager, an Arduino, in my case it's an Arduino, you know, and a USB cable. Open Air Manager, connect the Arduino to the computer, click on Device and then on Flash. Click on the Arduino you have, click on Next, then select the COM port, in my case it's COM7, and to select the channel. You can have up to 16 channels, that means up to 16 Arduinos. Now click on Flash and the Arduino will be flashed. It's finished, now let's wait and in the devices list you will see the Arduino. Here it is. Now click on Create Edit and add a new instrument. Click on Script and the script editor will start. In my case it's Notepad++. First of all we want to add a button. The button is connected to Arduino's Digital 2 input. So we add this text, HW button add, then the name of the Arduino and the channel and the pin, it's Arduino Uno AD2, and then button pressed and button released. Button pressed is the function we call when the button is pressed and button released is the function we call when the button is released. Let's say we want to use this button for the strobe lights, so the button function pressed looks like this. The function button pressed says explain command sim light strobe lights on and that's the explain command. Now let's add the function for the button release. The function is called button released and the command is explain command sim light strobe lights off. By the way, you can add explain msfs2020 fsx commands and also data ref or fsuipc writings in one function so you can make an instrument that is working with all your simulators if you don't use only one. Second thing is we want to add an LED. For this we insert this command. LED instrument brightness, that's the name of the LED, is HW LED add. Then again the name of the Arduino, the channel A and its digital input 3. And the 0.0, .0 means that initially this LED should be not illuminated. This is the brightness of the LED, from 0.0, .0 to 1.0. Let's say this LED should uh, display how bright the instrument panel lightning is. So we need a DataRef subscription. It can also be a FSU IPC subscription if you use FSX or MSFS2020. In explain case it's explain DataRef subscribe, then the DataRef, the type of the DataRef and then the function you will call whenever this data ref changes. In our case it's instrument brightness. Now let's add the function. The function instrument brightness has a variable that's called brightness. You can give it any name. And then there is the command to change the brightness of the LED. That's HW LED set. Then the name of the LED. In our case it's LED instrument brightness. And then the variable which is the value of the brightness which is called brightness. Okay now let's save this. Change to AR manager and click run. Now the instrument is running and you see there is no errors in the console. Let's have a look what it looks like when we start explain. Here is explain. Now I click on the button for the strobe light and you see strobe light is switching on and when I release it strobe light is released. Now let's turn the knob for the light value and you see the brightness dims up and down. Yes, it's a little bit of rough dimming and it's not smooth but it uh, shows what you can do with this cool thing. In my case I haven't put a resistor in front of the uh, LED because I've measured it works. Normally please make sure that you have a resistor or at least the appropriate current and voltage to uh, the LED needs. Uh, and of course we could add some other features like for example a potentiometer which controls the brightness or a rotary encoder and so on. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, maybe I will do some other videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful. I put all the links in the description. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions, comments or remarks, please post them in the comment section below. Have a nice day and happy landings.